Hey guys, Mark from Copper vs Glass, and today we're going to be looking at the newest version of the Google Search voice recognition. So, let's take a look. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to make sure that you've got is the latest version of Search by Google and also make sure that your Google Play services are fully updated as well. Now the easiest way to turn on this feature is if you slide up to get to Google Now and go into the settings in the bottom right hand corner and then head into Voice and OK Dictation. Now the normal options that you would see in here is from the Google Search app, so you can have that switched on, which is normally switched on anyway. But now you've got the option to do it from any screen and also from the lock screen. So what you need to do is turn both of those on, and it will actually ask you to train your voice. So you need to say OK Google, uh, you need to say it three separate times for it to recognize your voice. And as you can see just there, it actually recognized my voice when it wasn't on the home screen. And that's kind of one of the main features of this. So it enables you to be in any app application on your phone and even on the lock screen and you can still use the OK Google dictation and it will pick it up as you just saw there. Now it can get a bit annoying for instance for video purposes like I'm doing now if I want to talk about the OK Google feature it's then going to launch it and sometimes not as you can see there. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick example of if I go into Google Plus and say OK Google what's the capital of China? And you can see there that it does it straight away from within the Google Plus application. And this also works if you're doing some other things. So if I head into YouTube, for instance, and watch a video. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Again, if I just say, OK, Google, how tall is the Empire State Building? Then again, it's going to pick that information up. So it's really handy and really neat to use, especially if you are using an application or if, say, you're listening to music in the car or using maps in the car. The ability to use this hotkey function is definitely great. Now, it also works on the lock screen, but unfortunately not when the phone is locked. So if I just lock my phone now and say, OK, Google, you can see that unfortunately it doesn't do anything. So it's not necessarily like the Moto X with the assistive touch or the touchless controls as it's known, but it will work if you actually put it onto the lock screen. Okay, Google, what's the capital of France? And again, it's then gonna give you that information straight away. So this is just a quick look at the newest update for Google Search. Um, it is rolling out individually to people's devices. So even if you do have the latest version of Search or even the latest version of Google Play services, it will be device specific. Um, it's been out now for about a week, maybe even two, and I've only just got it on my Nexus 5, hence why I'm bringing you guys the video now. But do look out for it. It's not going to prompt you that it's there. So you will have to go into the settings of Google now to actually check that it is there within the voice settings. But apart from that, it's a really nice update. And hopefully at some point they'll be able to bring it to a locked phone as well. Meaning you don't actually have to touch your phone at all. But for the meantime, this is the best we've got. And you can't necessarily complain. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass with a quick look at the updated voice functionality of Google Search. And I will catch you guys in the next video.